the lights. my gentleman callers. We've got the lovely Kat Moore as our honorary gentleman caller tonight. Um, can we give it up for Anna Lynch who just rocked that solo set? Woo! If you guys haven't heard her before, you need to hear her with her band and you need to pick up one of her albums because her voice is just phenomenal as well as her songwriting. So yeah, we are celebrating 10 years. I've been making music professionally for 10 years. This is Brian Dast. He's been at my side for eight of those years. And we are so lucky to have Miss Kat Moore on the keys and beautiful backup vocals. And Mr. Jason Sear back here on drums. 
We're gonna have a rockin' set. We hope you guys will just carry on with the dancing, have fun, get a little, uh, get a little, Tired get a little emotion. fun. Get <laughs> Brian's getting emotional over here. I can see he's got a twinkle in his eye. <laughs> We're gonna do a song now called Denali. This is a title track off of our last full-length album. It's a song about love in Alaska a whole lot. As men to roll over land and sea, as men to claim high on mountain peaks, as men to say. show but if for any of you that stayed around I just have to say a huge thank you that was just a beautiful experience um, to sit here and just have that perfect silence and now we're getting to have a bit more of the rowdy feel um, you guys the modern savage is gonna play after us who's excited about that I am um, but I'll say you know we're here to celebrate a pretty special night especially for Brian and I uh, we're celebrating a lot of miles a lot of shows and many years now playing music together and uh, for those of you that weren't here earlier for the Listening Room show, we are re have released a really special album called Ten Years. It's available only tonight. 
Otherwise, it's online. But if you want to have a physical copy in your hand, it's only tonight. And it's a, it's a really special compilation of songs. It's a song written from 2005. It was a song for every year between 2005 and this year. So it's pretty special. We had an amazing, amazing artwork done by Laura Lauterbach. So I really hope you guys will check out the merch table on your way out tonight. Your support means a lot to us. And we're planning a huge tour to Europe in the spring. So we're saving money for that. So all that merch money is going directly towards that. And not only are the t-shirts beautifully designed, but they're really soft. They're super soft. They're like incredibly soft. I'm very particular about my t-shirt oh, style. Me too. I was happy for that. All right. Black and Wretched. We're going to play you a heartache song. We're going to get a little honky-tonk on it. We're going to get a little blues. Are you ready over there, b Ray? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they say with love, you just have to simply leave. But if I did need them both to run, it cut off my two feet. I spent the last two years avoiding love's desire. Started fierce and I had started young. I packed a quick after a few good burns. Afraid of all the heartache and the wretched empty. out there that feels like dancing a bit. We like our dancers. The song's called Meet Me at the Moon. This is a song about being in a long distance relationship. It's not really about traveling to the moon. That would be kind of crazy. Tonight might be the night. <laughs> this might be, Kat. To you take moon. me there, girl. 1,011 miles is what keeps us apart. Fifteen hours and thirty-nine minute drive to a piece of my heart. You stole it in a matter of moments. Say come back, it'll be safe, I'll hold it. I don't know how in love with you I am, but I Cheers. 
Dancers, thank you. Very nice. How about a love song for you guys? Yeah, before you lovebirds go waltzing away, this is a song for all the sweethearts in the room tonight. I dedicate this song to you. This is a song about forever love. I wrote it for my big brother's wedding. It's kind of turned into a bit of a wedding song. So if you got a wedding come up, you know, just talk to me about it. I've got a song for you. Um, this song is called An Epic. Kind of came out a bit like a fairy tale romance. Just picture yourself at a middle school dance. I love Jay's going to give us some of those lights. Yeah, do we have a disco ball at our disposal?
Thank you, beautiful dancers. We're gonna play a very Alaskan song for you. This song was inspired by my grandparents. They were homesteaders in the Matsu Valley in the early 1940s. They were gold miners, they were soapstone miners. And uh, they taught me a whole lot. They've taught me a whole, whole lot in my life. So this one is, uh, this is for, for anybody that's afraid, of, afraid about giving up on your dreams. This song is just totally like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Which is why we're celebrating tonight. 10 years. 10 oh. years, Brian Dast. Here we are. We're not giving up on our dreams. One, two, three, four. Don't sit down. You guys, if you got to do it, if, if you have a moment of selflessness and you're like, I just want to do something selfless, you need to dance to this song because this is my favorite song in the world, but I have to sit down to play it. I mean, I could try and- And Kat like, is the best damn dancer, so that's a big deal for her. But it will look a lot cooler and sexier if you do it, I promise. <laughs> but I might, if enough of you guys do it, I might get up and do it too. Alrighty. This one is a revenge song. I'm not going to tell the whole story. Just know the guy deserved it. <laughs> it's called The Keeper. I'll never be the keeper of a temporary I'll please a baby. I know I'm not your keeper. I'm temporary. I'm temporary. Uh -huh. oh. Here we are again. Check. 
on our new album and uh, it's a song called Hard Love. I don't know whose story it is we're telling but man I hope we're doing it justice. The song just kind of fell out of the atmosphere and hit me on the head. How you doing over there Kat? Doing good. That's a sassy dress you've got on tonight. Oh, thank you. It's a wedding dress. You guys better make sure to stick around for the Modern Savage set and dance with this lady because she's kind of the best dancer in town. I'm during the Modern Savage set since I'm wearing a wedding dress. Oh. I didn't know that when I bought it, but what serendipity. <laughs> well, there you go. There you have it. Actually, it was a lovely Anna Lynch that helped me find this dress. Or oh, maybe man. Can we give it up for Anna Lynch one more time? Woo! Someone 
There's really not much I love more than playing piano, aside from like my family thing. But the next thing in line would be dancing. Don't sit down. We're about to play our danciest song yet. Ah, no, it's a country. Cat, you ready for some country action over there? All right, guys, this is about as country as we get. So this, if you were looking to get it in, now's a chance. This also holds my favorite Brian Dass harmony line ever. See if you can figure out what it is. You can ask us after the show. All right, well, speaking of Brian Dass, he's going to count us in. You ready over there, (laughs) B-Rai? One, two. Three, four. You should know. For 
album release we've got a bunch of new merchandise back there we're saving up money brian and i are going to tour in europe we'd love for you to stop by the merch table arcadi my dear friend arcadi's selling stuff back there but i'll also be back there as soon as our set's over and you can't go anywhere yet because the modern savage is after us and you just really need to stick around they're gonna rock our socks off i also want to say a huge shout out to our friends at shirts up they hand screen print all of our merchandise for us and they do such an amazing job over there I think we might have a few of those fellas in the house. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Thank you for having our backs every time. Oh, man. All right, you guys, I got to bring it down for a minute. Not, I just need to. And I need, to, I need, I need your attention for a minute if I can get that. Um, I had a real sad thing happen last week. And it's sad for me mostly because... I know all the people that it's affecting so greatly. And uh, this is a song for someone we lost last week in the Kinnick. He was a pilot, he was a damn good pilot, and he was a dear, a really good friend of my family. And uh, this, is, this is a song for him, it's called A Pilot's Goodbye. If there's anybody out there that knew Seth, you guys, this is for you, this is for Seth. And for his two little girls that he left behind. That's where I'll be, that's where I'll be if you need me. Singing with the birds, swinging with the breeze, watching the sunset over mountain peaks. out to the Fairbanks family.
All right, we're going to pick it back up. We're going to do our weirdest song. You guys ready for kind of a weird song? You, you ready to get a little weird? Let's get weird, you guys. Yeah, let's get weird. It's time. Let's it's do it. It's time. It's time. She's ready. She's ready. She's. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but she's got it. She's on it. So this song is a... Uh, this is um, off of our Denali album, and it's going to be the only song of the night that Brian plays his iPhone, so that's kind of fun. Uh, we're getting up to, you know, we're doing this wonky thing with the technology. But I wrote this song four years ago, and it was during a time I was using a lot of songwriting prompts. And the idea was, uh, with this song, was to write a song. If I were to write a comic book character into song, who would she be? This song is the result of that. You'll You're have to listen to the song. Right You're about to find Ooh. out. <laughs> the song's called Lioness. If you want to see a really bitchin' music video that goes with this, you can just YouTube Emma Hill Lioness after the show. And I mean after the Modern Savage is done playing. Uh, we had an amazing animation artist do an animated video for this. And he's based out of Austin, Texas. And it's totally badass. So I hope you check it out. All right. Everybody ready back here? You ready, gang? Yeah. Hey, Bear. You doing good back there, Bear? All right. I wish I had that nickname. She's ah. Medea. Crazy and wild eye. Armed with a killer's knife. Quick to tell a lie. She's hunting deep in the dead of night, scheming up alibis, crossing D's and dotting A's. She's a lioness waiting to kill. Again, I've got Mr. Brian Das on the banjo pedal steel vocal action. Give it up for him. This man has been at my side making music with me for eight freaking years, and I just am so, so nah. thankful. Thankful, Brian. It feels like 12. Yeah. Just kidding. I uh -huh. love you, Emma. 
Back here on the drums, Mr. Jason Sear. Give it up for him. He's just laying it down tonight. And our ever so beautiful honorary gentleman caller, Miss Kat Moore, over here on the beautiful vocals and keys. It's the best thing a gentleman could wear, you know? <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna take it down a bit. This is a slow song, so find somebody to dance with. And, uh... This is a or song. you can just hold the person next to you this if is, you're Yeah, just down. hold them. If you're just, you know, if, you're, if it makes you a little too sad, <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, you got this it. This is a song written right in the there. dead of winter. I have a tuner curse. It's of course, I, I can't get through one show, which one show without this thing acting up. Like I'm serious, it's just not working. It's fitting for the song. I think it's okay. All right, I think it's good enough. This is a, this is a, a sad country song anyway. It should be played just slightly out of tune. All right, count us off here, one, Brian. One, two, three, four. are long and the dark lingers on feel the blues coming on by ground is caught under a blanket of cold can't seem to find a bit of light will you take me as I am So strong out and blue Don't know why it hurts so bad To admit I'm sad to you I fight the bottom And it seems a I've been saying lately. It's a tear in your beer song. Those were some of the best air vocals I've ever seen right over here, by the way. That was amazing. <laughs> These guys don't have it. All right, guys. Well, we just have a couple more songs for you. And then the Modern Savage is up next. I want to say a huge thank you to you guys. You just, my heart is over, just overflowing right now with love. Celebrating 10 years tonight has just been 
It's been really, really special. So thank you for sharing this special night with me and with us. You guys have just been lovely. I really hope to see you after our set over there at the merch table. And uh, I will say I've got, I've got something special called the 10-year super fan deal. It gets you one of everything on my merch table for only $50. I can take card if cash is an issue. And know that if you all go get a little something off the merch table, it's going to help me and Brian get to Europe next spring, which is yes. happening no matter what. But we need your help. Be there. And Emma, would you mind if I said something real quick? Kat, you say whatever okay, you want. Okay, you guys, i got to tell you one more thing. So, by the way, thank you for dancing to the Keeper earlier. But Emma Hill, I don't know how many of you guys know this. I'm about to do, like, the ultimate thing that you're never supposed to do. I'm going to tell you how old this, this young lady is. This spring chicken here is 27 years old, which... Which for me, as an old lady, is a very mind-blowing thing that anyone in this whole world can embody so much talent and drive and passion as Emma. And it is totally an honor to be here, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is the fact that if you don't know what's sitting on that table tonight, and in a rare sort of unique way, Brian and Emma have released this 10 years album. So what it is, is it's a song for every year that Emma has spent in music. Which means that if we go through the powers of deduction and the, the magical mathematical powers of subtraction, <laughs> that means you get to hear a song that Emma wrote when she was 17. <laughs> that is like to die for. I can tell you anyone in the world, as a friend of anybody who makes music, all you ever try and do is to get the songs that they wrote when they're 17. And most people will live and die and not do them, not give them to you because they weren't good. But Emma wrote good songs when she was 17. And when she was 18, and 19 and 20, and onward and onward. So, but the thing about it tonight, you guys, and I'm like the worst person at this ever because I'm always like, oh, I'll get it later. But tonight, Emma and Brian have hand signed 100 copies of a poster with a download code. They actually literally hand wrote the download codes for that album, and they're here tonight. 100, and actually they've been on sale since seven, so they're probably considerably less than 100 right now. So if you like those songs, and you like any of these songs, and particularly if you want to hear a song that Emma Hill wrote when she was 17, maybe you better get your ass, pardon my French, to that table tonight. And don't forget, she takes cards, whatever you got to do. If you're like me and you don't carry cash, she'll swipe you. Whatever you got to do, you guys, take that. Oh, I'll swipe you, all right. Cool. Doesn't even have to be your birthday. <laughs> Uh, how many swipes for this poster? Anyway, um, so you guys, check it out. Really, it's something super cool. Not only do you get to go home with a beautiful, beautiful piece of local artwork, but you get to go home with music that you can put on your computer, take everywhere with you, and have little Emma in your heart and your ears all the time. Oh, thanks, Kat. Nice so cute. Job, and Kat. I will elbow if I need to to get one of those myself. So this go is Life on me. the Road. This song is about just that. And, uh... It's been an amazing 10 years, and I hope to have another 30, 40, 50 more. Brian, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready All for right. 50 more years. Let's do this. <laughs> if you live your life on the road, then you live your life on the go. Count your days from station to station. Mountain passes, dusty stages I could try and settle down Make your art my home But God only knows where the time would take us Just when I think I'm tired Ready to sit still And I'm this burden up my tires This battered suitcase of wheels Oh, the blossoms, they are blooming Flying through spring and I am jealous of the freedom Out of all if I became But you wouldn't catch me if I fell Maybe I'm afraid that you will But if you live your life Avoiding now Then you live your life So scared I Baby. 
let you in. But if you live your life pointing out, yeah, you live your life on the go. Count your days from station to station. Mountain passes. quiet for a minute just one song's worth one short song's worth there's a story but I got to be able to hear it you guys there you with me so I wrote this song in the back of my father's airplane he flies a little Cessna 206 we were about 10 minutes out from landing in sleep mute which is the name of the village that I grew up in it's about a hundred people big a mile long and it takes about two hours to fly there from here it's on the western side of the Alaska range we were about to land there and sleep me and I was staring out, all the fall colors had started to change and they were all reflected out on the Kuskokwim River, which is this, the second largest river in the state, so it's this very beautiful, wide, winding river. And I realized I am so damn lucky to be able to say that I come from where I come from. Who here is proud to be an Alaskan? All right, that's what I thought. Well, guess what, guys? This next song is for you. It's called Alaska Deer, I'm Coming Home. Alaska deer, I'm coming home a few weeks at a time. At your passes where I'll roam above the timber line. Pretending to be my grandfather. You know I am a miner's daughter. Oh, to you I'll tell no lie. Many wonder why I had to live out on the road for good. My visits are so far and few. Alaska dear, I'm coming home to you. I miss the birds, I miss the trees, I miss the midnight light. I miss the salmon in the brook, my father changing out my hook. I even miss the small plane flights. I miss the places and the faces Cozy hum of the slow pieces Alaska dear, I'm coming home to you The mountain tops, my favorite spot So I'm still in awe Alaska dear, I'm coming home to you Alaska dear, I'm coming home to you I love you all so much. I'm gonna be back at the merch table. Please come talk to me. Support local independent music. Modern Savage is up next. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> 